Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and I'm a technical account manager in AWS. Today I will be giving an overview of a new feature in Amazon IoT Fleetwise where we make it easy and cost effective for automotive customers to create and manage data pipelines from their vehicles. We have announced back in June of 2023 that IoT Fleetwise now supports object storage in Amazon S3. For today's agenda, we will be having a quick recap of what AWS IoT Fleetwise is. Then we will talk about a new feature we launched for IoT Fleetwise, which is it now supports object storage in S3. Then we will have a tech demo of how to create and deploy our Fleetwise campaign from S3. AWS IoT Fleetwise provides automotive customers the ability to structure and standardize vehicle data, allowing for easier data analysis in the cloud. They can avoid the undifferentiated heavy lift of developing custom data collection systems, and they can enhance their existing systems by integrating the service. Developers use the services virtual vehicle modeling features to define and model vehicle attributes and the sensors associated with the car's make, model, and components. By doing so, a signal like vehicle speed will always be formatted in the units of choice, regardless of region, making it easy to generate fleet-wide insights. There are endless possibilities for what you can do in the cloud with data transferred by AWS IoT Fleetwise. Fleetwise can be used to train AI ML models for autonomous vehicles. We have the ability for customers to store data in S3. This is a feature that we launched very recently that enables customers to effectively create a data set that they can use for their AI ML use case train autonomous vehicles and advanced driver assistance systems with camera data collected from a fleet of production vehicles. As you now know, AWS IoT Fleetwise, a fully managed service that collects, transforms, and transfers vehicle data to the cloud, now supports object storage using Amazon S3. This feature allows the choice for a automotive manufacturers and fleet operators to store data collected through campaigns in Amazon S3, in addition to Amazon TimeStream. As compared to Amazon TimeStream, which is a time series database, using IoT Fleetwise with Amazon S3 helps customers with use cases that require batch processing and analysis of vehicle data over a period of time. For example, vehicle engineers can use AWS IoT Fleetwise to ingest batches of data to Amazon S3, and data scientists can easily query data that is in JSON or Apache Parquet format. Users can then visualize the data using services like Amazon Athena for use cases such as remote diagnostics or use Amazon SageMaker to build models for advanced driver assistant systems. Additionally, Amazon S3 helps improve cost efficiency through data compression techniques and by leveraging Apache Parquet format for storage, making data processing and management more efficient in customers' data lakes. S3 allows our customers a cost-efficient data storage for large amounts of data to enable powerful use case, such as big data analysis or training of their machine learning data sets. To give you a feature overview of what Fleetwise can do with S3 is that you stay in Fleetwise as part of your data management layer and you can manage the settings for S3 out of Fleetwise. This really brings in tremendous value, meaning you can stay in your campaign management and you can define your S3 bucket. Whether you want to compress the data, you can define how partitioning or the indexing look like. Now going into our 
technical demonstration, let's take a predictive maintenance use case to walk you through the process of creating and deploying an AWS IoT FleetWise campaign that stores data in Amazon S3. So let's say you are a data scientist at a fleet operating company with thousands of delivery trucks. You have the goal to lower the cost of brake system repairs and maximize vehicle uptime. To do this, you have built a machine learning model that predicts when the pads will wear out. The model requires you to gather a comprehensive data set from various sources such as vehicle maintenance history and the type of brake pads that was used. However, you're missing historical data on hard braking events that can improve the prediction accuracy. With data storage support for Amazon S3, IoT Fleetwise can now help you solve this problem. So in this demonstration, I'm going to create a condition-based campaign that instructs my, my edge agent for AWS IoT Fleetwise to capture hard-breaking event and store it in my S3 bucket in a compressed parquet format. So before we get started, if you want to follow through, please make sure you take care of these three prerequisites. First, uh, have an AWS account with console and programmatic access and supported regions. Number two is permission to create and access IoT Fleetwise and S3 resources. And the last one is please complete the AWS IoT Fleetwise Quick Start demo via GitHub to set up the simulation before creating our Fleetwise campaign. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create and deploy a condition-based campaign that uploads a set of broadcast CAN signals to your target S3 bucket. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate to AWS IoT Fleetwise console. And then you're going to go into campaign on your left hand side. And you're going to choose create campaign. You're going to add in your campaign name. You're going to leave the defined data collection scheme and leave the condition based option. For your campaign duration, choose uh, the today's date, which would be the 27th and uh, end date. Let's do it end of year, December 31st. Apply. Then you're going to enter in this variable in logical expression, leave the optional settings as is. Next, let's go into your advanced scheme options. Let's make sure we uh, select the off option. Please set the post trigger collection duration as 1000. And for priority, put it as zero. When you scroll down, you'll see signals to collect. Let's enter in the specific signals. I want to gather the torque, have that uh, sam max sample count as 100. We'll leave this minimum sampling interval as zero. Let's add one last signal. This one will showcase the breaks. And please add the 100 for max sample count and zero for a minimum sampling interval. And you will click next. Be sure to check the destination as Amazon S3. Now let's go ahead and create the S3 bucket. Now you're going to add your bucket name. I'm going to name mine's 
Fleetwise Demo S3. I'm going to scroll all the way down and let's create this bucket. Now that it's created, go ahead and drill into your newly made bucket. Then you're going to go into permissions and scroll down to bucket policy. Go ahead and press edit. Then I have pasted my bucket policy. Uh, please make sure that your uh, bucket name reflects. Then save changes. Now go back into your Fleetwise campaign and refresh this. Now go pick your S3 bucket, which is the one that we just made. Make sure you have selected Apache Parquet and the default is at gzip. Next, you're going to be adding vehicles. So the simulated vehicle from the prerequisite will show up here as Fleetwise Demo. You're going to select it, press next. Now make sure you are reviewing your settings. Once you do that, go ahead and click Create. Now the campaign has been successfully created. Now you can click Deploy to get your campaign to your Edge agent running on your simulated vehicle. I have reviewed and confirmed that I want to deploy the campaign. So click Deploy Campaign. Now that you have successfully deployed your campaign, please go over to your S3 and check on your bucket to see if the object has been created. Uh, so yep, I have my object created. Uh, please note that it takes about 12 to 15 minutes for the IoT Fleetwise to complete its batch write process. Um, so after you wait 15 minutes, uh, just go check in your object. So I have it right here. Um, I waited about a couple hours. Uh, so just drill in to process data, year 2023. This is the month of September, uh, the 28th. Um, so let's look at R1. Okay, these are all the objects that came up. So that's great. Um, now let's go into uh, AWS Glue. Go over to Databases. Now let's add a database here. Um, let's add a unique database name. So let's just say uh, Fleetwise Database. Okay, create database. Okay, so now I'm going to drill in here. Now, after creating the database, you're going to add a table using crawler. Let's add a unique name. Let's name it Fleetwise Glue. Next, uh, let's add a data source here. Um, yep, S3. A location of S3 data is in this account. Let's browse to the S3. Um, pick our bucket. Choose. Uh, add an S3 data source. Make sure you click on this data source, click next. Uh, let's identify our IAM role, It'll be AWS Glue service role, uh, click next. Uh, let's choose our database, which is the one that we just created. Um, now we're going to click next. Uh, review all this information. Uh, once everything is correct, click on create crawler. Okay. You have successfully created a crawler. Now let's run this crawler. Now that you have waited a few minutes and seen your status change to completed, let's go back into the left-hand side of databases. Click on that. Now let's go into the database we just created. Now you see a table here. Let's click that. Now you know you have done everything correctly up to this point if you see the schema being filled out. So now that we see it's filled, now let's go back to the console and go to Amazon Athena. Now that we're here in Athena, uh, we see our information matches. It's the database that we just created and the table matches and it's partitioned with all the schema that I showed in the previous page. Now, let's look at our query here. Um, 
what we're going to do is we're going to have to make sure that uh, this is matching with the information we have here. So the database is going to be Fleetwise database and the table is named Fleetwise demo S3. So let's let's put that in there. Okay, fill that in here. Uh, the measure name is all correct. It's the vehicle ABS demo brake pedal pressure and the vehicle ECM demo engine torque. That is what we want. Let's run this. Okay, now that it's completed, we're on to the next step. We're going to now go into, uh, we're going to go back into the console and we're going to use Amazon QuickSight to visualize the patterns of the hard braking event. Now that we're here in QuickSight, make sure you're on the left hand side and have clicked on data sets. Once you have done that, go ahead and click on new data set. Then you're going to go click on Athena and you're going to type, enter in the name for your data source. So let's name this Fleetwise S3. Let's create a data source. So it's going to be coming from AWS Data Catalog. Database is going to be the one that we just recently created. Uh, make sure you click on that table, select. All right, now it's time to visualize. Congratulations, now we have successfully visualized the patterns of these hard braking events. Our vehicle has generated a total of 1.2K events during a couple of hours of simulation. So. Here, we have created a simple visual that indicates a hard braking scenario through an abrupt spike in brake pedal pressure and a drop in engine torque. Over time, this data will provide valuable historical data you can combine with other data sets such as vehicle maintenance history, brake pad types, and vehicle weight to improve the accuracy of your machine learning model. In this presentation, I showcased how AWS IoT Fleetwise expands the scope of data-driven use cases for our automotive customers with the newly introduced capability of sending vehicle data to Amazon S3. In addition to the near real-time monitoring and analysis provided by Amazon Timestream, the integration with Amazon S3 enables powerful OLAP use cases such as big data analysis and machine learning model training. We then used a sample predictive maintenance use case to walk us through the process of creating a condition-based campaign that collects hard breaking event data and sends it to Amazon S3. To learn more, please visit the AWS IoT Fleetwise site or log in to your AWS console to get started. Thank you.